Try that again. Good. No! <laughs> Good morning! Today is June 2nd, Wednesday. We're headed to the airport. Will and Merlene. Oh, Will is going to San Jose! Yeah, I'm going to San Jose. Oh my gosh, so cute. Even Emily put down a date and time. Shut up, really? Yeah, she did. <gasps> oh, what's her date? She put August 10, just in time for breakfast, 9 a.m. What the? <laughs> That's what she said. Stop, really? Yeah. Oh, we're putting money down on when J Jasmine's about to pop. Oh. So. Wait, Emily? Yeah, Emily's in on it now. Oh my gosh, Shit. she's so cute. She I love her so it. much. And Chrissy took August 9, 4. Zen took August 7 at 6.54. I have a feeling I'm going to give birth in July. Me too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It went O-P, I thought it went O-R. There's a Q and there's an R. How come everyone's arriving today? It's the weekend. Shouldn't you be at work? There he is. There he is. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I want to hug him too, so hurry up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Park it. I don't know. You gotta park it first. I don't know. It is parked. Whoa. What's that noise? Can you help him? Oh my gosh. I don't want to do it. I'm gonna go hug him then. What's up? Hey, Kevin. Hey. Your wife will still be here. Yeah, I wanted to surprise you. Hang yeah. out for a little bit. We'll just throw it. Security. Oh, there we go. There we go. Backpack's right in the middle. Oh. Hi. Uh. Yay! Baby daddy's here. Yay! <laughs> Let's go home. Let's get out of here. What you got there? Hi, cousins. They're all gone. Kevin's home. Kevin's home. He's like camera shy, so I don't like to put the vlog in his face if he doesn't want to be on it. But he's home um, for another week. He's been home since Wednesday or Thursday, I can't remember. So he's been home for a few days now, and we just picked up Will from the airport. He went up to San Jose with my cousin. And I am in like nesting mode, like organizing, putting everything away and just like making room for baby girl. And then on top of that, I'm trying to make room in my closet for Kevin's stuff because I got comfortable with all my things and just like my whole closet was filled with my stuff. My drawers were filled with all my stuff. So I'm trying to make room for him, his stuff, packing my hospital bag, just winding starting to wind down with like getting everything ready for her to come home um and buying a lot of like organization stuff and i just my eye bags are just not great right now Ugh. it's getting a lot harder to move around hello baby i'm not sticking it out or sucking it in this is like <laughs> This is her. Oh my gosh, and you can see all my veins. Wow, that's so crazy. I bought this plastic case at the necks. Um, I was going to put like all of her clothes that are still too big for her under here so I could just slip it under the bed. And then I'm like, maybe I can put her diapers in here, but I don't know. These are all size three and they just, I don't know where to put them. <laughs> And this closet's starting to pile up with stuff too. I moved my jackets into the closet here to make room for Kevin. I got this uh, organizer at Ikea. And this one, it has freed up a ton of space and I have like bigger ones in our drawers in the room and that's what I'm using for some of my stuff too. Um, I'm still planning on washing them. I just want to see if everything has a place, functionality, and all that good stuff. Pretty. 
Hold that. Wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> I'll take this in place. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Oh my goodness. Out. So we can both look at it and learn how to use it. That's the the toddler. Or no. That's oh, the base. Shit. vlog I think it's I think it's been a while since actually it has been a while like almost two weeks gosh there were so many times where I had updates in my head that I wanted to share on this vlog we were just too caught up in the moment we're here at 32 weeks and I don't even know where to begin uh, as far as like what's been going on Kevin was here for the past week and a half. Um, he just left uh, yesterday. Yesterday morning, his flight was at like 7 a.m. He'll be back again, hopefully in time for uh, little baby girl's arrival. I pray to God that it is before she arrives because it would just like, it would ruin me and him, I know, if like he misses the birth of his first child. Like me laboring by myself would just be, well, without, without him would just be like, I don't know. And people are asking like, oh, what's your plan? When does he plan to come back? So he does plan on being here for the birth. Like all these questions that I can't answer just because of, or being in a, long-distance military overseas relationship <laughs> it is what it is it's just, like it's something in my mind that I just like block off but I know I have to acknowledge it because that's reality um, but I don't want it to like consume my mind you know it just I wish there was like someone that I could talk to that understands my situation and just ex just like you know just like understands what I'm going through what we're going through uh, yeah because I could keep going and if I keep going I'm gonna get emotional I haven't seen him in eight months you know <laughs> and I just wanted to spend like some like quality like uninterrupted like non vlog time with him um, my friend Shailene is coming in in the next like half an hour she's visiting from NorCal and she's spending a few days with us with me she's one of my oldest longest friends she's like one of my best friends we will and I have had guests since like the end of May like right before my birthday because all the cousins blew in to visit and then Kevin was here and then literally just like one night 
with no visitors and then she leads coming and I love company and I love just like hanging out with my my family and my friends especially like now that COVID is lightening up it's like life is back to normal so I'm really happy about that we bought the recliner that's our recliner's not coming in till the end of July or the beginning of August which is when I'm due any at any time around then so I'm hoping that it can like come before the baby comes so that we could set it up but I know that's like being ignorant because she comes when she's ready I've been feeling a lot more pressure down there uh, belly is feeling heavier these days and it's getting a lot harder to move around in bed just because of like a sore stiff back and just like it's really uncomfortable to sleep there was one night um kevin and i were sleeping well kevin was sleeping and i was just up all night long tossing and turning trying to find a comfortable position because if i tried to lay flat then like my acid reflux would come and it would just like burn and i flip over and then that's uncomfortable and then I'd sit up and then I'd like slowly fall down or like my head would conk to the side. It just, it just, it was a really bad night. But for the most part, I'm still like, other than that, I'm still able to get a good amount of hours of sleep. That was just one random night where I just like, I couldn't do it. It was just, it was just way too uncomfortable. Oh, and then I had my little work baby shower. It was combined with my coworker's last day. I was glad that I was able to bring Kevin. Will was originally supposed to come, and it was nice that Kevin was there to replace him because I shouldn't, I really shouldn't be alone <laughs> at this point of pregnancy. But we went in, um, the baby shower was like at nine o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, night shift. My coworkers are the best. They take care and they gifted us with so many things. And then I have another, I think this is the last baby shower at the end of the month in like two weeks. A lot of my coworkers are getting, get, or getting together outside of work to have another fourth and final baby shower. I'm at that point where I'm like, okay, let's get this baby shower so that I can figure out exactly what else I need to get and then just set everything up um kevin and i went to bye bye baby when we bought the recliner and we did buy a a good amount of things that like we know or at least i know that i'll need when she comes here <clears throat> i don't know if i mentioned that i went to my appointment a few days before kevin flew in i took Darlene, my cousin. I'm really, I was really happy that she was able to come to my appointment. Nurse practitioner told me to start iron again. She's like, are you taking iron? And then right before my appointment, I told Darlene about my iron story. So when the nurse practitioner asked me, I looked at Darlene and we both kind of chuckled. The nurse practitioner kind of just looked like confused. I'm like, no, not right now because, and then I told her like a brief, synopsis of what was going on she's like well you're 10.3 and you're still going to be losing some um, blood throughout the rest of your pregnancy and during labor and delivery so you probably should still be taking iron so she told me one tablet <laughs> because i need to know that one tablet every one to two days so that's what i've been doing one tablet every one to two days That's it for now, um, we'll see you later, peace.